Hey there friends and followers. Today's video is dedicated to the gastronomists and food connoisseurs out there. That's right, it's all about the 10 best places to dine here in Ocala. Grab your appetite and join in for the next couple of minutes. Ah, so yes, as always, welcome back. Now, if you are passing through Ocala on a quick trip, or maybe you just moved to the area and are looking to branch out and try some different menu selections, then this video will provide you guys with some great options to explore. Now, granted, this video could have been about an hour in length of me explaining all the awesome places in town to eat, but I condensed it down into the top 10 that come to my mind when I'm out and about and looking to grub. Let's check them out. Now, starting off in the number 10 spot is Amrit Palace. Located off of State Road 200 just before Interstate 75, Amrit Palace offers authentic Indian food that balances sweet, savory, and spicy to your favorite Indian dishes. Various styles of samosas, curry, and palak are made available in either lunch portions or dinner specials with the ability to spice up the dishes to your preference. Coming in at the number 9 spot is Cafe Havana. Now, located off of North Magnolia Avenue in the Magnolia Village Shopping Plaza, this authentic Cuban restaurant is raved about by locals and visitors alike. In addition to classic sandwiches such as the Cuban and steak and pork variations, Cafe Havana also serves up a variety of meats, rices, and beans that can be purchased a la carte as a breakfast option or a lunch special. At the number eight spot, we have Wolfie's. Now, dating back to 1983, the classic American-style diner is open six days a week and serves traditional home-style comfort food that we've all known and grown up on. Located on the main business strip of State Road 40, you can expect everything from this location, including burgers, club and grilled sandwiches, fish fries, meatloaf, and even breakfast served all day. At the number seven spot, we have Tony's Sushi. Now, if sushi, sashimi, and hibachi are your thing, then you'll definitely want to check out this establishment. Also located off of State Road 200 in the Colors Plaza, Tony has been a staple for sushi for years with many locals having knew the owner and founder. Everything to choose from here including tempura, ramen and yakisoba, specialty sushi rolls, and a constantly rotating daily special. At the number six spot, we have Stella's Modern Pantry. Now, located off of Southwest Broadway Street in downtown Ocala, this cafe offers a wide variety of gourmet sandwiches, salads, desserts, baked goods, and boutique wines and cocktails. Their shop inside has a nifty selection of quirky kitchen gadgets as well. Be sure to check out one of their various cheese boards, flatbreads, or breakfast and brunch options and pair it with either a Greek or Jamaican coffee. Wedding planners, birthday cakes, and gift baskets also available here. At the number five spot, we have Ivy on the Square. Now, also located in downtown Ocala off of South Magnolia Avenue, Ivy on the Square offers a southern style cuisine and is actually housed in an 1890s circa building. With different southern inspired selections such as fried green tomato, shrimp po' boy, and fried shrimp and chicken plates, they are sure to go hand in hand with one of their Prohibition era style cocktails as well. Be sure to check out their outdoor seating for the ultimate experience. At the number four spot, we have La Cuisine. Now, located off of Southwest First Avenue, this location is sure to please. With an award-winning menu, this restaurant is set in a one-of-a-kind French bistro atmosphere. With great appetizers such as escargot, smoked calamari, and foie gras, visitors can also expect French-inspired dishes directly from executive head chef himself, including duck l'orange, beef bourguignon, and rack of lamb. A most impressive wine selection along with brunch specialties, including gourmet French toast and crepes, make this a must-visit. At the number three spot, we have Big Lee's Barbecue. Now, Big Lee's isn't your traditional sit-down restaurant, but rather utilizes food trucks and areas with picnic tables to accommodate. But rest assured, this will be some of the best barbecue you've ever had. With multiple mobile food trucks, as well as base locations set up of Northeast 1st Avenue beyond the downtown square and Southeast 45th Court off of Mary Camp Road, you will find a selection of meats and sandwiches with everything from chicken, brisket, pulled pork, sausage, and best of all, their burnt ends. People have literally traveled from around the world to get a taste of Big Lee's, and you should too. At the number two spot, we have Big Hammock Brewery and Bites. Now, located downtown on Southeast 1st Avenue, this brew pub has a rotating selection of 12 different taps with guest craft beers and brews brought to life by Big Hammock themselves. With great pub fare like hot pretzels and press sandwiches, Big Hammock also has some of the meanest ramen dishes, bow buns, and pot stickers in town. Post up for a few at the indoor-outdoor bar space and watch the sun go down over the city. And at the number one spot, we have La Hacienda Restaurant and Supermarket. Now, located out west on State Road 40, this location offers great authentic Mexican food along with an attached full supermarket that includes fresh produce, tortillas, meats, and baked goods. At Merlou Price, visitors can enjoy various Mexican dishes along with different styles of tacos, burritos, and quesadillas. 
Breakfast is also available at this location, and don't forget to check them out on Taco Tuesday for 99 cent tacos. Well, there you have it, my friends. That is my top 10 of the best eateries here in the city of Ocala. Now, most of these establishments have uh, websites that you can go to to get further information that you may need, or as always, drop me a line or a comment. I can get you any uh, info that you may need on them as well. As previously mentioned, there are a ton of great other establishments here in the city, but again, these 10 you're definitely going to want to give some attention to. Be sure to slide on over to the page and give it a like and subscribe to stay uh, up to date when videos like this are released with great information about the Ocala area. As always, thanks for tuning in, checking out the videos. We'll catch you guys on the next.